In this module, you will get to see how to use the powerful MASH tools to animate the text and the floral shapes. You will go through a couple of MASH nodes to create a stunning assembling effect. You will learn as well how to handle quite resourceful operations. In this particular clip, you will create your first MASH network and see how the MASH distribute node is working. MASH is a new cool add-on to Maya, which allows you to create quickly amazing procedural animation. If you didn't complete the previous module and you want to follow along, you can open the Maya file named m1-05.mb. So the first thing I want to do here is to create a cube or any kind of simple geometry. It really doesn't matter for now. So let's go to Create, Polygon Primitive, and then cube. Now select your cube or your geo and change that menu for animation. Go to the mesh menu and select create mesh network. You can see in your outliner that the initial cube is now hidden and the mesh network created a couple of other objects. First, the mesh one here, which is our mesh network and the mesh one repromesh. This new mesh is the result of our mesh network. As you can see here, the cube is duplicated a certain amount of time. Let's have a look on how to control that. First, to see clearly what I'm doing, I will hide my other geometries. In my outliner, select all the objects you created in the previous module and do a Ctrl H to hide them. Okay, now I can clearly see my mesh mesh. Let's see how to modify that. If I select MASH1 here in my outliner, I can see that I have a bunch of operations possible right here in the attribute editor. But the first thing I'd like to take care of is the first node that MASH created, the MASH distribute. For each operation that MASH is doing, it creates a specific MASH node, and you will find up there in the tabs of the attribute editor all these nodes. It may be a little bit unclear for the moment, but bear with me, it will all come together along this module. So the first node that MASH is creating by default is the MASH distribute, and this is a really important one, probably the most important. This node is the one which is duplicating, organizing the mesh you decided to use for your MASH network, in our case, the cube here. If I come here inside the mesh distribute settings, I can control the way the cubes are layout, the number of iteration here, and here you can transform them the way you want. Right now, we are using a linear distribution type, but you can choose many other ones, radial for example. In that case, the modification we did under the linear tab is not applied anymore as this tab is working only for the linear distribution. If I want to change the radial aspect, I need to go under the radial tab. Now, I will let you explore other distribution modes and play around with the sliders to see how it works a little bit. For this particular effect I want to achieve in this module, we are going to use the mesh distribution. And nothing is happening. But as you can see, a help box is telling us to choose a mesh to attach. What does it mean? Well, let's try to figure out. Because I choose the mesh distribution here, I will go under the mesh tab. So far, easy. Now, I can see here that I have an input mesh control. I probably should connect one of my meshes in there. For doing that, I will go inside my outliner and do a middle click on my text object and drag and drop it in the input mesh box. Make sure you do a middle click, otherwise you will select the geo and the mesh one attributes disappears. So impossible to drag it where you want. This is one of the tricky Maya things. Middle click is selecting an object, allowing you to drag and drop it without opening its attributes. If you are new to Maya, you'll see that this is useful in many cases. Well, 
Now that I dragged my object at the right place, you can see that all the cubes are distributed a bit randomly in space. It feels random, but it's actually attached to my mesh. Let's select your text in the outliner and do a Shift H to unhide it. As you can see, the cubes are located on the surface of the text. Okay, let's see if I can control a bit more this. Let's go back to the Mesh Distribute node. And if I go back here and modify the amount of iteration, you can see that more and more cubes are sticking to the geo. Now, under the Mesh tab, we have here again several distribution modes. Right now, the scatter mode is distributing the cubes randomly around the geo. But I can choose to place them on vertices. As I have only few cubes for now, they are located only on the first vertices for now. I can even create a voxel version of my text. If you're a big fan of Minecraft, this is for you. Well, one more time, i let you go through the different modes on your end. For now, we will select the face center mode. Now, I'd like to have a cube for each single face of my 3D text. So I could come there and increase the amount of iteration, but the exact number will be hard to find. Instead, I can come down here and click on Flood Mesh, and now Mesh creates a cube for each face of our 3D texts. Okay, we are pretty done with the Mesh Distribute here. For now, it doesn't look like anything you may have seen in the course introduction, but don't worry, it will at some point. Basically, these cubes will be used to drive the faces of our original 3D text, but one step at a time. So in the next clip, we will learn how to modify and animate the position of all these cubes. See you there.